Okay, sixth grade, lesson 84, and this is on order of operations part two. But the main thing you need to understand is that when we're doing order of operations, and what I mean by order of operations is uh, a problem that has adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing in it, okay? So when you have a problem that has all of those things, or even just three of them, or just two of them, you have to follow what's called an order of operations. And we use a symbol called PEMDAS, okay? And this means, well, it doesn't actually mean this, but I'll explain to you what each letter actually does mean. Um, but we use a acronym, PEMDAS, to say, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay? And I just remember it by PEMDAS. And I'm able to know what letters go where. When I hear PEMDAS, I just spell it out, PEMDAS. So I don't actually use the please excuse my dear Aunt Sally anymore. I just know that it's PEMDAS. Okay? We're going to skip P and E because um, you probably, well, actually, let's just skip E because you will sometimes still use P. So let's go and write down what these letters mean so you'll understand. P means parentheses. Okay? P means parentheses. Parentheses. Uh-huh. E means exponents. And we'll, you'll learn to do exponents later. There's no need to do exponents now because um, you're not even to that level yet. Okay, but it's still good to have them in there so you understand. M stands for multiply. D stands for divide. A stands for add. S stands for subtract. Okay? Now, it's good to remember, watch what I do under the M and the D and the A and the S. I'm going to put a line that has an arrow. I'll explain to you what that means. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. Go ahead and draw that on your paper. Okay. Then. The M and the D, you have an underline with an, an arrow going to the right. Okay. And the A and the S, you're going to have an arrow that goes to the right. That means if you have a multiplying and a division problem at the same time, guess what you're going to do? You're going to go from left to right. Whichever comes first. Do you understand right. what I mean by that? Yeah. When you get to adding and subtracting, and there's... Several adding and subtracting problems all in the same line. Guess what you're going to do? Go from left to right. Okay? You'll understand as we do these, okay? So you've got all that information written down? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let's do one of the problems they have right here. Okay? 2 times 8 plus 2 times 6. Okay? Are there any parentheses? Are there any parentheses? No. No. Are there any exponents? I don't know what that is. Oh, no. No exponents? Are there any multiplying? Yes. Or dividing? Uh -huh. Okay. There are multiplying, but no dividing. Okay, so we're going to go left to right and do all our multiplication problems. Do you see a multiplication problem? Yep. Where? 2 times 6. But we always have to go left to right. Oh, six times two. Left to right. What? Oh, two times eight. Two times eight is one of our multiplication problems. Do you see any more multiplication problems? Uh, yes. Two times six. Okay. Do you see what I've got right there? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go on and do two times eight. Sixteen. Two times six. Twelve. We're done with multiplying. No dividing. Okay? Mm -hmm. So we've completed this problem. And we completed this problem. What have we not completed? That plus. Okay? So then let's add the 10, uh, the 10 and the 10, which makes 20, and the 6 and the 2. 6 plus 2 is 8. 28. Got it? Final answer is 28. Now, what if you didn't know PEMDAS? And 
and you didn't know how to answer this problem, well, we would, you would probably just go, okay, I'm going to do all the problems. You would have done 2 times 8 was 16. 16 plus 2 is 18. And then 18 times 6, 108. Totally different answer. You see? That's why it's very important that we follow the rules and don't just answer the problem. Got it? Let's do another problem. Do you understand what I mean by that? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try another one. Now, this may feel weird because I'm going to add decimals into the problems and division into the problems. Okay, okay. so just um, watch me do this. 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5. I'm going to have to write smaller. Sorry. 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5. Divided by, that's my divided by signal, 0 0.5 <laughs> minus 0 0.5, are you kidding me, times 0 0.5. Okay. It's going to end up being like 0 0.5. <laughs> Woo! Okay, so I'm going to write PEMDAS. Since I can't write it up at the top, I'm going to write it at the bottom. Okay? Are there any parentheses? Nope. Nope. Any exponents? Nope. Any multiplying or dividing? Yep. Both. So we're going to go from left to right. Which problem do you see first? A dividing problem or a multiplying problem? Division. Okay. Okay. I've got one division problem. Any more problems? Division or multiplication? Is that one behind the division? This one? Yeah. Is a multiplication. Right? All right. So let's do those problems. 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.5, that would be like if this was a number 5 divided by 5. What is 5 divided by 5? 0. 5 divided by 5. What? This, I'm taking out the decimal to show you that this could actually be a whole number. It'd be 1. It'd be 1, no matter what you do. 0. 0.5 divided by 0. 0.5, you're still going to get 1. 0.4 divided by 0.4, anything yeah. divided by itself is going to be 1. Do you understand what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but that? I thought you had to count back the decimals and all that stuff. You can. No, because we're not dividing by 100. We're dividing okay. by 10. Okay. So this is 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.5. Okay. I was just doing a quick method of it. Yeah. But let's just go on and do it this way. 5 of 1 to 5 one time. One. 1.00 1. or just one. Okay? Sorry, I went a little fast on that. Okay? That's fine. So this answer is one. Minus. This one's not just going to be as easy. No, not minus. Because we're still doing well, it. Yeah, but the answer will be minus. We're still doing multiplying and dividing, whichever one comes first from left to right. Okay. This could actually be DM. Okay? Cool. That's why whichever one comes first from left to right. Got it? Okay, so let's do this. 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. 5 times 5 is 25. And I have 1, 2, 1, 2. 0.25. 0.25. Got so it? Still one with me? Minus 2.5. Minus, and then over here is plus 0 0.5. See, we answered that one. You say with me? So that'd be my minus 6 here. minus 25. So we've done multiplying, we've done dividing. Now we're going to add or subtract left to right. So we're going to go from there to here because adding and subtracting is all that's left. So 0 0.5 plus 1 whole, 1.0, is 1 1.5. So this answer is 1.5. Staying with me? Mm -hmm. Minus 0.25. Minus 0.25. Remember, we have, to, we have to line up our decimals. Very good. So then we would take away 1. 1.25 should be our answer. Yes, it is. Got it? Mm -hmm. All right, last last one. This one's actually easier to me. Okay. Any parentheses? Yep. Yep. 8 plus 6, 14. We did our parentheses. Any exponents? Nope. Any multiplicate? Oh, multiplying. Nope. Yes, because you don't know this. Whenever you see a number, 
next to another number and they're in one is a, one of them's in parentheses, it means to multiply. Okay. Just so you know from now on. Okay? So there is a multiplication. What is 14 times 2? 28. There's no division, there's no adding, there's no subtracting. 28's our answer. You got it? Mm-hmm. Feel like you understand it? Uh-huh. Alright, do this one on your paper by yourself. Using PEMDAS. Five plus five. And I will check it. Alright, that is lesson 84.